Hey everyone, it's Mr. G, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a scene transition where it fades to black instead of white. In the last video I made on fading between scenes, the backdrop basically turned white before it faded back in. And that's because I used a very specific block. So let me actually uh, add a couple backdrops in here. So I'm going to go to the stage. I'm going to add two backdrops. Let's just do baseball one and uh, blue sky. So that's going to work. I can get rid of backdrop one. And in the last one, basically when I wanted to fade from this scene or this backdrop into the blue sky, the screen would have turned white because I was using in the looks palette, um, I was using a specific color effect and it actually wasn't color effect. It was the ghost effect. So the ghost effect makes the screen turn white. And I was using that to my advantage to be able to fade in between from this scene into the next one. So if you wanted to turn black instead, so let me um, undo that graphic effect. So let me go back to uh, the regular screen. This is fine. If we want to, if we wanted to turn black instead, we're going to have to change the brightness. So you don't want to leave the brightness at 25. You want to make it a negative number. So the more negative you go, until you get to negative 100, that's pure black. So just to show you what I mean, if we make this negative 25 and we click on it four times, one, two, three, four, the screen turns completely black. So you can use that to your advantage to accomplish the same thing as I did in the other video. So instead of using ghost effect, use brightness and make it a negative number. And then if you want to fade back in, then you can make it a positive number and click, let's say four times, and um, make the next backdrop appear and come from a, a black backdrop or a black screen. So I'm going to show you how to do that quickly. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but basically we're going to use a loop to repeat the, the step two times. So the first time we're going to do that, we're going to go, let's say negative, um, I think in the last one I did negative 10. And then what I did was I waited a tenth of a second after doing that. Um, and I did that 10 times. So this, when I click on this, it's going to make the screen fade to black. And there it goes. And then what I want to do is I want to make sure I switch the backdrop before I fade back in. So I'm going to switch the backdrop in the looks palette. I'm going to change it to, uh, let's just do next backdrop. So every single time it's just going to go to the next backdrop. But if you want to choose specific backdrops, you can do that too. And then I'm going to do a loop where I change the brightness by positive uh, 10. By positive 10, I'm going to repeat that 10 times. So if we go, so we go from negative 100 to zero. And I also want to make sure I wait uh, about a tenth of a second after doing that. So that's really quick. Um, and if we just make sure we clear the graphic effects at the start and I attach this to a green flag is clicked, this should be the code that will work. So I'm going to moment of truth here. We are going to click the go button and you see that the backdrop switches or it fades out to black and it fades in to the next backdrop. Now you might have noticed that it um, actually changed immediately as soon as I clicked the green flag. So like I did in the other video, you can uh, basically wait, uh, let's say three seconds before it actually does the switch. Um, and actually I want to have that after my clear graphics effects. So let's do that. Let me click on the green flag. So for three seconds, we see this baseball field and then it's going to fade out and fade into the next backdrop. And that's just because I did that. I did it like this. I switched uh, to the next backdrop and I didn't choose specifically the backdrop that I wanted. Uh, so hopefully that wasn't too quick. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Uh, and hopefully that answers your question, Tiago.